Ye escorted out of Sketch's office in Los Angeles after he showed up unannounced. Sketch's is not considering and has no intention of working with West. We condemn his recent divisive remarks and do not tolerate anti-Semitism or any other form of hate speech, the company said in a statement. The company would like to again stress that West showed up unannounced and uninvited to Sketch's corporate offices. I think the, the funniest and saddest part of that whole news report isn't that it happened, it's the stress and emphasis that was put on we want to make it known we did not contact him and don't want contact with him like that's gotta hurt special thank you to my youtube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are going to be taking a look at a subreddit I have not looked at yet, but it sounded quite funny and is related to another subreddit I've looked at. So today we are going to be looking at r slash not the onion. You guys have probably heard of r slash ate the onion, I've done videos of it before. It's people reading satirical news sites not realising there's satire and responding to them as though they are real. While this is kind of the opposite, this is news reports from legitimate sources that see like they should be satirical but are actually real news reports so we're gonna take a look at that today before we continue I just wanted to mention that I will be streaming over at twitch in two hours I stream on twitch every Thursday at 7 p.m. UK time so go follow my twitch so you don't miss a stream let's get into the subreddit shall we Mitch McConnell votes against interracial marriage despite Asian wife Senate minority leader Mitch McConnell voted against legislation that would protect interracial marriages on Wednesday despite the fact Fact that he's married to an Asian American woman. Mitch McConnell, who is white, is the husband of former US Secretary for Transportation Elaine Chao, the first woman of Asian heritage to be appointed to a presidential cabinet. Look, Mitch, I, I can't help but feel like if you're trying to tell us something here that a divorce would just be a lot easier than just making your marriage with your wife illegal. But uh, this is Mitch McConnell here we're talking about, so not the smartest of people when it comes to politics. Jeff Bezos' housekeeper got UTIs from lack of bathroom access, says lawsuit. 14 hour days with no break and no bathroom, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos sued by his former housekeeper. The former housekeeper for Amazon founder Jeff Bezos alleges she and the other employees were made to work in unsafe and unsanitary conditions, including having to climb out of a laundry room window to access a bathroom. Ha what? How? I <laughs> it's another one of those things that I just, I can't quite comprehend. How can you be one of the richest men in the world, right? He's like the second richest man in the world. How can you get that much wealth, that level of money, and not give workers, specifically workers in your home, your housekeepers, bathrooms? It's not like he can't afford that. I just don't understand. Like, a bathroom probably would have been cheaper than a lawsuit. <laughs> Weird. The Al Yankovic story involves absolutely no research on Al's actual life, director says. Instead, his and Yankovic's Yankovic's aim was to completely parody the biopic genre, just like Yankovic would a parody song. I like this one because Yankovic is in on it, right? Like it wasn't just someone that was like, I'm gonna make a biography on Weird Al Yankovic's life and just made it up. This was like him and Yankovic were both like, let's just make this dumb. Let's completely make this up and make this a wacky story. And I think that's funnier. I don't know if we ever will get a proper biography of Weird Al's life, but I'm happy to settle with this because that sounds funny, especially because he's in on it. If he wasn't in on it probably wouldn't be as funny but he's in on it so should be funny lost dog hands itself in at Loughborough police station I, I don't know if British names man is it I think it's Loughborough Loughborough but it could be like Loughborough or Loughborough there's so many ways that British people or British towns and places could be pronounced I'm gonna say Loughborough anyway Rosie sought help from officers after being scared by a firework on 3rd of November CCTV footage from Loughborough or Loughborough or whatever police station captured the moment the border collie arrived and took a seat in the waiting room. Leicestershire police staff fetched some water and gave her a fuss before calling the number on her ID tag. That's a smart dog. What a good girl. What a little baby. She was like, I'm scared and I'm lost. I'm gonna go to the police. And you know what? That was a good move. Milwaukee police switching to new guns after three cops accidentally shoot themselves. 
Police Chief Jeffrey Norman said the current weapon, the Sig Sauer P320, has a history of unintentionally discharging while in use with MPD. Three Milwaukee police officers have been injured since 2020. That's more than one per year have injured themselves by accidentally firing a gun. A little bit more in the report said that one of them was even fired while holstered. Why were these guns used in the first place? That just seems like you would know. Surely a, if a gun has that issue, that kind of inconsistency would be known before it's used as an official police weapon? Maybe that's just me. Real life Overwatch 2 charm costs less than it does in the game. A post on the Overwatch Reddit highlights the discrepancy between the two prices. The Overwatch Pachimari Jinx 3D keychain is available on the Blizzard US gear shop for 5 USD, uh, along with several other 3D options at the same price point, including Maze Companion Snowball, Reaper's Mask, and Bastion's Bird Pal Ganymede. For comparison, the equivalent Pachimari charm in game costs 700 Overwatch coins, with 1,000 coins retailing for 9.99 USD. So basically, it's about $7 in game and about $5 in real life. You gotta question the Overwatch 2 uh, pricing, don't you? I haven't even touched Overwatch 2 because it's kind of put me off of it and honestly I don't want to support Blizzard at this point, but uh, people worked out that you can save up for a legendary skin in Overwatch 2 faster by playing World of Warcraft than by playing Overwatch 2. Basically, in World of Warcraft, you can farm gold, which allows you to buy tokens, which allows you to buy stuff on uh, the Blizzard store. It is quicker to farm gold, get the tokens, and then use those tokens to buy skins in Overwatch than it is to play Overwatch to earn those skins. If that doesn't say everything you need to know about the terrible grind balancing in Overwatch 2 because the whole thing was made for money, I don't know what will. Trail of Candy Wrappers leads GA deputies to nine people accused of leading burglary ring. <laughs> Deputies told Channel 2's Brian Mims that the bag of Milky Way candy bars was critical to solving the case. They say the trail of rappers led them right to a group of people they believed were responsible for several burglaries. That's the most cartoon thing I've ever heard. Like, I, I don't think I've ever quite seen a crime like this where I've been like, that was probably the plot of Scooby-Doo, right? <laughs> they, wow, the, the candy bars were crucial for them figuring out who the real monster was. Like, I, I find it hilarious that that's real. <laughs> Texas homeowner says hooker ghosts have taken over rental property. They're trying to stir up business. Linda Hill, owner of Hill House Manor, told Jesse Waters Primetime Monday she was taking a shower when she heard someone say looking good. I thought it was my husband. I mean, he and I were the only ones in the house, she said. However, it was not her husband making the comments. It was a ghost, she added. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't believe this is true. I don't believe this is real. But clearly Fox News has nothing else worthwhile to report because <laughs> they're reporting on this. I mean, a lot of these weren't very worthwhile to report. Some of them were fun to read, and this is still kind of funny to read, but like, come on, I if if anything, my guess would be she's making it up for clout. A cat has been appointed mayor of an Italian town and will remain in office for a year. Feline looks dignified as she is sworn in as mayor of Italian town. A cat has been appointed the mayor of an Italian town and will remain in office for a year. Black and white Moggy Meow. <laughs> That's a great name for a cat. Spent her first day in office as mayor of the animals of Civita Dantino Abruzzo region, southern Italy yesterday, 12th of October. The surprising thing here isn't that it happened, if I'm gonna be honest. The surprising thing here is how regularly this seems to happen because I read this and was like, oh. Yeah, I've seen that happen before, but this isn't the first time this happened. And to pr prove that, not that I don't think anyone would not believe me that the, this hasn't happened before, there is an entire Wikipedia page dedicated to non-human electoral candidates. There's a goat called Yo-Yo, there's been cats, there's been dogs. I think there was a dog that was mayor of a town in the UK. I think there was also a dog that was a mayor of a town in California. Like, this happens a surprisingly large amount. And that's the best part, I think, 
is that this wasn't even a one-off, wow, there's a cat mare. This is like a, this is just now on the list of animal mares. Wild. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to end the video, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. If you would like to support me in making more content like this, then I have a Patreon in the description down below, or equally, you can click that join button on the channel to support me. It helps a lot more than you might realize, but by no means should you feel like you have to. I'm going to keep making content regardless. Special thank you to all of my YouTube members and patrons, all of the people that do support me. You guys are amazing. It means so much to me. Genuinely, thank you guys so much. It helps a lot. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.